Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And today, a fabulous pattern in the Sudoku we're going to look at, bricked in by arbitrary. I mean, it's all in order, just uh, another brick in the wall. Yeah, we're certainly going to have a look at this very interesting rule set and um, concept, frankly. I'm going to I don't know. I don't know whether I think it might be hard or easy based on the rules. We shall see in a moment. Um, firstly, let's remember that we've got Riff Clown's rather brilliant interactions coming up on the 1st of February on Patreon. Really looking forward to that. And uh, I think you'll find some wonderful line puzzles there. If you find you like the line puzzles, Get our line Sudoku app, or get it in time to practice for the Riff Clown one. There are some fabulous line puzzles in there, and uh, it's just real quality stuff, along with all of our apps, of course. And you can check out our merchandise while you're in the links under the video, and Sven Sudoku Pad. But the first link is to Bricked In by Arbitrary. Um, so, what are the rules of Bricked In? Firstly, normal Sudoku rules apply. And I've done a few puzzles that didn't have that lately. So one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Um, digits separated by white dots are consecutive. There's one, one domino with a white dot in it. So that's not going to do a lot for us. Now, the orange stuff, area sum lines. If a region of cells is enclosed by an unbroken section of orange line, then the sum of the digits in the area enclosed by the line is equal to the sum of the digits along the perimeter line section. Digits may repeat on area sum lines if permitted by other rules. Area sum regions cannot be contained within another. Ah, so if two area sum regions are conjoined, then the larger conjoined region is not itself an area sum region. That's quite a long-winded way, perhaps, or long-worded way of explaining the rule, which is that these three enclosed cells are going to be have the same sum as those cells enclosing the... Oh, what a, what a colour to choose. What a genius. Um, yellow. As those cells on the brick. So the yellow will add up to the same as the blue. Now, that is all very fine and hunky-dory for those cells. Here, that cell will be the sum of the four surrounding it. But these two are not the sum of the kind of three by two brick there. So that is not necessarily relevant. Or it doesn't say they can't be. It just says they don't have to be. So those two are not a pair. Basically, we're looking at the individual brick bits that we can see. And the insides are the same as the sum of the outsides, which is just I think it's extraordinary that Arbitrary has created a grid with so many bricks in it. And I think it's utterly extraordinary that it seems the only thing they need to disambiguate the whole grid as a uniquely solving Sudoku puzzle is one white dot, and I suppose the five in the middle. Um, it seems to me, first blush, haven't tried it, to be an astonishing conception. But I am really looking forward to getting into it. So give it a try on the link under the video. I'm going to get started now. Let's get cracking. Well, the five is helpful. Because the this, this digit, surrounded by those, I don't see how this can be anything other than minimum in those cells, one, two pair, and a one there. Because that adds up to nine, which is the max that can go in there. So... I think we get a nice, friendly start, frankly. Now, the five isn't on any other regions. And just as we do the maths there, it's worth bearing in mind that it's not as hard as you may think to achieve these sums. And what I mean by that is if you can use a five on a sum that includes three digits that are the same, then on something like this, which goes through three different boxes, there's quite a lot of flexibility. If you assumed ones in those cells, which is actually not possible now, then a one-two there would only necessitate five in this cell. 
four degrees of freedom. I think this could be all about degrees of freedom. Okay, the this this is the next area I'm going to look at. You might think it would be wise to focus on one cell enclosures, and maybe it will, but I'm not going to yet. I'm going to look at this one because because of these cells. Oh, this isn't going to pay off, is it? Okay. Um, right. Actually, hang on. The minimum for the green... No, sorry. The maximum for the greens, which can't have a 9 on. 8, 7, and 6, 21. The minimum for the oranges surrounding it. Let's put them in yellow. The minimum for those... Oh, yeah, no, 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 they do include the five. For some reason, I thought, yeah, it, it, because of the concaveness of this bit of the brick, it doesn't feel like an inclusion, but it is. We got 21 in green. Right, the minimum for those five is already 15. Then you could have a one and two there is 18, and a two there is the minimum, because we've already got a one. There's only one degree of freedom here. Ah, and we can't take that out of the green because we can't use the digit five. So that is eight, seven, six. They do add up to 21. And the yellows, therefore, do add up to 21 as well. These are now a three, four by elimination. So the digits in box five add up to 15. And these other three yellows definitely add up to six. So... Um, they're all from one, two, three, I reckon. If that's a one, two pair, that can be a three. And if that's a one, three pair, that can be a two. And those, those are the only ways this can work. I'm very confident about that now. Um, what I'm actually going to do is unhighlight the central box and try and remember that these three yellows definitely add up to six. Uh, is there something very obvious to do next? This is an interesting cell. It sees a 1-2 pair. Oh, and this can't be 1. Right, what's the minimum along here? This might be a 3, that might be a 1, that might be a 2, and that might be a 1. One degree of freedom, because this can't be a 9. That is now 7 or 8. There's only one degree of freedom on each minimal bit. So that is two or three. This is three or four. And I have a feeling this can't be three anymore. Yeah, because that would be four and that would bust this completely. So that is definitely one or two. Is it possible for it still to be one? One, one. Yeah, it definitely is. Hmm. We've got this box as well, but it doesn't seem so promising to me because of one two being ruled out of that cell really pushed the pushed the needle quite high. Okay, here's a thought about this cell actually, which can't be three or four in this in column six. This, is, this cell can't surely be a 5, because 5 plus 3, the minimum there is 8. And then when you add on, well, at least, 11, at least 3 there, you get to 11. That's no good. So this is from 1, 2. So that's another 1, 2 pair. And they definitely add up to 3. Plus a minimum 3 there is 6. So we've got a maximum 3 here. And that's giving us a one, two, three, triple. Also, this, I think, is now minimum seven. Now, can we pull the same trick here and make this a one or a two? If that was a five, yeah, it would be a minimum three there. Exactly the same trick works. So that's one or two, which is a pair in the column. Um, minimum three there, plus three there is six, plus one there is seven. So again, we're on seven, eight, nine. Now, again, I think this can't be more than three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three and a one, two pair is six. Yes, one, two, three. So another one, two, three triple is formed. And this cell now is at least four. So these three added together are at least seven, plus at least one there gets us to eight or nine. There's going to be a lot of this min and maxing thing going on, I think. Oh, and this brick is quite interesting. Four cells in the same box. So I'm looking at this brick now. Four cells on the outer outline of it in the same box, they've got to add up to at least 10. Plus a 3 and a 1 is minimum 14. So both of these digits are at least 5. Seventeen is the max, so there's three degrees of freedom. That's a bit more than I wanted to hear about. Five in column six is in one of those cells. Not very interesting at the moment. Is that... that's not really confined, I don't think. Ah, now, what am I missing? Ah! Ah, right, there was only one degree of freedom on this diamond. If I make that a two, doesn't that use two degrees of freedom? Because it makes row seven, column three, a three. Two, five, six, nine. Yes, that cannot be a two. That is a definite one. And that is going to impact, well, two of the cells there. Okay, remember the yellows had to add up to six. So let's get rid of that one. These two yellows add up to five. They are a two, three pair, and they're both looking at that cell, which becomes a one. That's very neat. I might start coloring twos and threes, because those two are different. So if we say that all twos and threes are yellow and red, we get a little grid of them forming here. Okay, it didn't go very far. But now, what's happened? Ah, oh, what's happened here? That's a 2-3 pair on this brick. They add up to at least 5. That might be a 3 is 8. Has anything changed here? Yeah, something has changed, because that can't be a 1. We've got a 5 minimum, and 1, 2, 3, 4 there takes us up to a 15 minimum. So we can't have a 5 in green. That is 6, 7, 8, or a 9. That's not a big change, but it did happen. We need to keep an eye out for it. Now, what's going on on this one, then? Oh, no, this, this digit is at least a four now. Uh, I mean, well, OK. I mean, there's one... Yeah, there's one degree of freedom. Those could add up to six, but I suppose they could add up to seven. That one could be a one. I'd better look at this brick, although I don't think it's as constrained as this one. Actually, three, five, six, yeah, sorry, that one has made this a two. That makes this a one, that's just Sudoku. Has that changed anything? It hasn't really changed anything. This diamond, no. I don't know whether two is yellow or red. That could still be a 3-2 pair, giving us 7. Okay, I was going to look at this brick. I keep putting it off, but it's probably time to do it now. That could be 1, 2, 3. is only 6. 9, 11... And another one there is 12, which is nowhere near the maximum. Okay, I don't know what to do about that. One of these is a three. Three, five, oh, the minimum here has gone up. I don't know quite when it went up and I missed it. 
but it seems to be eight now, so that is not a seven. What about this one up here? That's still seven. Um, right, now it's a bit more interesting that one of these is a three, because whichever one it is, I don't think this can be eight anymore, because that would make this seven and require these both to be minimal. Both of these diamonds would have to be fully minimal, and that would require twos in both of those positions. That's very neat. So this is definitely a nine. I don't think that's good. Oh, it is going to change this cell, which now can't be nine. And that means that this pair is five or six. I was about to say that that makes this a two, but that's not true. It could be three, three. Oh, I don't know, this two, three pair is annoying me. It's tricky to figure out. We've got very low digits on this tall, this, this four cell, well, this brick is, is the one I'm looking at which is not helpful. What we need is a, is a higher digit there or a very low digit there. And then we can do something with that. There's a one, let's do a bit of Sudoku. There's a one in one of those cells. <laughs> okay, that was all the Sudoku I achieved there. Um, okay, I'm going back to this brick. So we're looking at a total now 15, 16, or 17. So there's only two degrees of freedom. These could add up to 10 with a 3 there and a 2 there. Could they? 15 we would then have. I don't know. I, ooh, is there some triple developing or something that I just can't see? Wow, this is hard. This is interesting, though. It's a very odd puzzle. Oh, there's a nine in one of those positions, and I bet it's not going to be on the line. Now, is it impossible? Right, the minimum for this line is one, one, two, one is five. Plus a nine is 14. Plus a Three is 17, and a 2, and a 2 is 21. I, if you weren't, if that was a 9, so that these, I wanted to say so that these couldn't be 9s, could you make 21, but actually that could still be a 9, and even if it couldn't, you could still make 21. So I haven't managed to get 9 off that cell, although... It feels very unlikely to be there to me. Oh, this takes some real thought now. Come on. One, two, three. Okay, this brick. Minimum of six there. Minimum of three there takes us to nine. And a three there is twelve. Oh, but those are shared digits between the two bricks. Is it worth adding up all the digits? That's a weird thought. Okay, minimum six there, one, two, three, and a three there is nine. Now, let's say that was two, one. That's 12, but that 2, 1 also goes into the total for this brick. I don't know. I don't think it helps to add them together. This one, since that can be a 2, we're on a minimum of 6. That's not very powerful. This brick this one in the middle required that to add up to five so so there's going to be a two three pair on one of these 
sides and a th or a two four pair and a three three pair or a three four pair I don't know how I don't think I can use that oh these two definitely add up to six well that doesn't sort them out but it does have a ramification here. This, oh look, those pairs are equal, yeah. If that's a 4-2 pair, this is a 3-3 three, three pair. If that's a 3-3 three, three pair, this is a 4-2 pair. So this pair always adds up to 6, just like this pair must to make this 9 total. Okay, can we use that in any way at all? This pair adds to 6, and we've got a minimum 6 there is 12, and a 1 there. So we're now up to a minimum 13 in these cells, which, that's not actually thrilling. Um, it hasn't changed the total here. If those add up to 6, that can be either of 2 or 3. Not that interesting. I don't know. It feels interesting that this pair adds up to six and that this pair adds up to six, but I don't know how to use it. Yeah, uh, actually, on this brick, yes, six there and a minimum of ten there. Now these greens have somehow got a minimum of minimum, minimum a minimum of sixteen. So they definitely include a nine, and that's got to be there. Well, that's a digit. That gives me an eight up here. That definitely makes these two add up to six, and they are a four and a two. Wow, this has suddenly done stuff. Everything else in this column is five, six, or seven, and that... Okay, hang on, let's, let's just think about this brick. Suddenly things to think about everywhere. This brick, first of all, is 16 or 17, and it's got six on those two cells. So these... If that's a 7, these are 1, 2, 3, 4. And then these other cells are 5, 6, 8. Looks okay. If that's an 8, these are 1, 2, 3, 5. Well, the 1 has to be in one of those two cells. There is definitely a 1 in use. The 2 has to be in one of these two cells. There is definitely a 2 in use. There's also definitely a 3 in use, but I don't know any way of using that information yet. Okay, and on this brick then, where we've got 6 there, we know that because that's a 6 pair, so that's a 6 pair, plus those two is 9. We're going to add these two digits on. That is 3, 5, 6, or 7. Um, I know it's not a 9, because I can just about tell. Now, the minimum for this total, the maximum, let's start with that, 16, 7 and 9. So the minimum for these cells, they add up to 7. No, the maximum is they add up to 7. If they're at their minimum, 4, 6, 7, 13, these add up to 13. So this is always at least 6. And what did we say the maximum here was? If those are 16, the maximum here is 7. So that's not a 7. And this isn't a 5 either, because that would be too much. Ah, just picking off pieces now. Not quite getting the job done, unfortunately. 1, 8, but we're getting... Oh, I thought we were going to get something something powerful seen to with, with some of those moves that we were able to do lately. I still I don't know whether 2 is yellow or red. It's in that position as well. If it's yellow, it's there. Because one of these is definitely a 2. Um... 
One, two, three, four, and an eight would leave five, six, seven in those cells. That doesn't quite get any parsnips buttered either. Ah, oh, I'm missing something now. Come on. Maybe... Oh, this pair. Have I... Nothing's changed on this one, has it? Ah. That is a six pair. This can't be a six pair. Ah, oh, that's been available for a while. It's a very clever thing, to be honest. But the fact that yellow and red are different is much more important than what they add up to now. Because it means that although we know that's a six, yes, look at this. We know this is a six pair because of this nine sum. Once that's a six pair, this is a six pair because the cells add up to 12. And once that's a six pair, this can't be a six pair because red and yellow are different and they would share that cell. Oh, that's gorgeous. So this is not a six pair, so that's not an eight. It now has to be a seven. And now we can just fill in the numbers, two and three. And red is now three, not two, which is yellow. And this one adds up when we put a four in, okay. Um, am I gonna color the reds and yellows? Well, well, we'll just do it for a little and see where we get to. I don't think it's gonna actually do anything towards solving the puzzle, but anyway, now, come on, we've got that three, that doesn't tell us whether this is a one, two, ah, oh, it tells us where two is, there it is. It tells us those don't have a three in, they're either one, four or one, five. I don't think that resolves this cell either. Um, yellow's coming along nicely. Now, ah, oh, that can't be two. <laughs> okay, that's, that's quite interesting, but not quite interesting enough. Two can be there. This can't be two because that can't be one or three on the white dot, but this could be two if that was a one. So there's a two in one of those cells. Oh, there's a five in one of those two I've just seen and therefore not here. Now, what's gone on here? Right, six, nine, oh, no change? Minimum 12. Maximum, well, 19 is, is not a relevant maximum. The maximum is 16 because of those two. Okay, nothing has changed there. Bother, 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 bother. There's a two somewhere up there. Okay, am I going to have to study the big brick? Oh, no, hang on. I haven't looked at this since we got this as a three. If that was the one, this would be a two, three pair surrounding a nine. That can't be a nine anymore. So this cannot be a one because that would be at least two, three, making this at least nine. So that is not the one. The one is up here. This one is four or five, and that still doesn't, de oh, we, it does determine it, it's a five, because we've got the four in the row. So now we know that this is an eight. Let me just check that brick. 17 equals the surroundings of the green brick, 17 in green, excellent. That's not eight or seven, that's six. Oh, this is coming together a bit now. The one here is massive, because that fixes two and one there. Um, that is going to fix this brick. Yes, that has to be a three, and that's an eight. Three gets a color. I've just remembered two gets a color there. This coloring system is not going to achieve anything for me. Ah, can we make this a two? One, two, three is five. Ah, oh, that's two or three, making this seven or eight, which is a pair now in the row. Uh, that can't be five. We've got four, six, and seven to place in box six. Six and seven are a pair. That's a four. That can't be seven, because we've got a seven, eight pair. So the digit here, oh, it's part of a two, three pair. Oh, bother. Doesn't fix that. 
Um, threes then. How? Oh, the. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on here? So, two, three, six, nine, ten. Ten plus that equals seven plus that. So there's a difference of three between them. So I'm going to eliminate seven from there and five from there. Oh, and I can eliminate six from there by Sudoku. Hurrah. And three gets a colour. That's where three goes in box nine by Sudoku. This is a five, seven, nine triple, and that can't be five. That is four or seven, four, seven or nine. Whoa, some, oh, these are fixed, six and five there. That six seems to have to go into box eight in a given position. That is a naked five with an eight at the top of the column. This is a four, seven pair, but actually I can write them in because of my seven, eight pair. That is now a three, nine pair. Ooh, three there. That is going to explode the nine possibility here. So I'm going to do the maths on this brick a bit now. If that was a nine on the outside of the brick, we've obviously got six down that side. Plus nine there is 15. A minimum of three, four, five. It's way too much. 6, 15, 27, they'd all have to be 9s. Okay, that is the 3. I mean, that was very uh, predictable, but still, it has, it has occurred. Now, I think it's time to try and add these up. Um, this is a 4, 5, 6 triple in the puzzle. And what's this? Oh, 5, 6... 8 or 9. Actually, hang on a second. That has become an 8 because of the 7. Now this is not an 8. So there are 6 possible sums here. 2, 7, 1, 6, 3. That is 4, 5 or 9. These are from 5, 6 and 9. That's actually a 4, 7 pair. Right, now what are we going to get in green? So we're already starting on the brick up here with nine, plus a minimum of four, four, five is 14, 18, 22. Now what's the maximum here? 23, there's only one degree of freedom left. That has to be a nine. That couldn't lose three or four degrees of freedom. That one don't know, but 445 was the minimum, and there's only one degree of freedom, so that's not a 6. That's not a 9, and that's... Well, obviously this isn't a 9 now. However, I think I can do these two, because if you were to put a 5 here and a 4 there, you're taking one degree of freedom off the brick and one degree of freedom off the contents. So that won't work. So that's a 4, that's a 5, that's a 4... And now we can just do the maths and work out what this is. I think it's going to be 6. We've got 23 in the green. 14, 16, 17 so far on the brick. That is a 6 to make it 23. It's all balanced. Have we got all the bricks done now? Well, we would do if I filled in this number, which I could have done from some moments. And you'll be telling me that it's nearly an hour. No, it can't be that. I'm joking. Uh, can we finish off twos? Yes, there is a two on the on the old uh, white dot. Let's just tidy up the pencil marks. That is now a one, which places one in the corner. I think that is a two because I've just coloured it yellow. So we are all done in twos and threes. Every three and every two is placed. If you remember the title of the video yesterday, that will mean something to you. That's a naked seven. I think we're finishing off now. Five, six pair at the top. Seven, nine pair at the other end of the top. That fixes five and six. Actually, that five probably fixed them very neatly anyway. That is a naked seven with an eight, nine pair there. The bottom row needs an eight and a nine as well, but I don't know where they go. Um, seven there is now looking down at the four seven pair that's a naked five it sees all the other Sudoku digits that's what 
nudity means in that context. Six and four there. Seven and four there. What a lovely puzzle. What an elegant creation this is. Um, as so often, the sort of puzzle I really like. I think a one there finishes the job. And we didn't need to brick it, because we are now bricked in. 20 people have solved it, an average of one a day since it apparently came out. Um, that is a fabulous puzzle. Really good stuff by Arbitrary. Very enjoyable and, and a pleasure to solve. So another intriguing line puzzle. Do, do consider joining our Patreon for Rift Clowns um, interactions. And also, of course, for... For our, or do consider getting our line Sudoku app, which is brilliant. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now. Thank you.